Perry here, Taylor Sound Tip of the Day. My tip today is about recording bass and guitars in the control room. I think it's a great place to be when you're recording uh, bass and guitars because you get the mix of what the you know what the engineer is hearing and what the final result will he will sound like, rather than listening to it in your headphones, which is sometimes compromised sometimes the studio's headphones aren't that great or you don't have time to get it all situated so i like to record guitars and bass in the control room uh, one thing that we have in our studio we just recently got was this getty lee San sans amp and uh, so you can plug directly in your bass directly in and get a really nice sound you can also just use a regular preamp to preamp uh, for a bass, um, unless you're, you know, you really need to record your bass cabinet, uh, if that's the particular sound you like, and then just put some mics up and uh, you can still record uh, right in the control room. Just sit down in the control room and uh, listen to your tone through the monitors. And uh, that's a really, really great way. I almost exclusively record guitars and basses while the uh, musician is actually in the control room. Uh, unless the band is trying to play live and they're trying to be in the same room and connect with each other. Um, if Especially with overdubs, it's always the, the guitar players in the control room. So next time you're in the studio, give that a try. It's commonplace, but some people don't think about it. So Maybe that'll help you in your recording sessions in the future. Rock on.